Nice looking day at the University of Iowa in Iowa City. Sunshine and rather seasonable conditions here to begin the week. Best chance for rain this week, though, will be Wednesday. That's the day that we track the next storm into the upper Midwest. For now, look at Tuesday. Most areas will see sun and temperatures that are right around average for this time of the year. 82 Chicago, mostly sunny. Yeah, cannot rule out that late day showers may try to develop for the uh, northern part of Minnesota and parts of the Dakotas, the, the northern central high plains area. Those are going to be late day thunderstorms and just non-severe in nature. But most areas do stay dry on Tuesday. High pressure slowly begins to move away from the Midwest, allowing an upper level low to move in from uh, western Canada. That in turn is going to develop a surface low and its associated fronts by midweek over the Dakotas that will be slowly moving southeast with time. And that's going to drop that moisture from the Gulf of Mexico and go on to produce widespread showers and thunderstorms Wednesday. That's going to be across north and south Dakota and anywhere from Kansas City north into the Twin Cities. And we need to keep an eye out for some of these storms on Wednesday from Fargo into Sioux Falls. That's a marginal threat. Isolated severe thunderstorms are likely to develop their large hail, damaging winds, a primary threat. We're now getting toward the end of tornado season, pretty much. But check out Fargo. Could see two inches of rain this week. It's certainly a healthy dose of rain here, as that storm is going to be developing right over that area Wednesday to produce widespread showers and thunderstorms that, for the most part, will be non-severe in nature, but heavy rain in the offering.